Welcome to Undisputed, live from Los Angeles. I'm Jenny Taft, here with Skip Bayless. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, well, well. Here we go. Good morning. You Hi, got, Jenny, how are you? You haven't got over <laughs> being shut out on Sunday. I have yet? not yet. I'm going to take it out on my team today. Oh. What? I'm going to re-motivate my team today. I mean, right now. At first, it was Tennessee. You hadn't gotten mm -hmm. over that yeah. one. And then you had a, a worse loss on Sunday, and you haven't gotten over that one. If my robot coach can't motivate my team, I'm about to. Oh. I'm going to relight the okay. fire. Jenny, how are you doing today? Yeah, you look nice yeah, with yeah. the turtle. Hey, look at Jenny. Yeah, Jenny. look at you. Holidays. What do you do? Audition and be a state farm agent? <laughs> you can be in the Aaron Rodgers commercial like that, oh, right? You, I oh, see look you at that. Way. I yeah? see you You can be Gabriel. Morning. You all were yeah. this morning, huh? Yeah. He's ready to go. Should I get to it? You? Okay, on today's show, uh, an NFL great not named Shannon is taking shots what? at Tom Brady. Do you guys hear about this? And no. then there's Skip's Cowboys. Did they get exposed mm. on Sunday? I don't like Sunday. that word, exposed. Exposed. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk about it. But we are going to start with the Saints. Drew Brees did not throw a touchdown pass. Uh-oh. And the Saints did not score a touchdown uh -oh. until the fourth quarter. But they still got the win, 12-9 against the Panthers last night. The defense was all over Cam Newton, intercepting him in the red zone and sacking him four times. New Orleans now has the best record in the league at 12-2, ahead of the 11-3 Chiefs, Chargers, and Rams. So, Shannon, are the Saints the best team in the NFL? Mm. Absolutely not. Right now, I have the really? Chargers as the best team. You do? Um, wow. To do what they did, they went on the road and beat Pittsburgh after mm. falling behind by 16 points. Mm. Uh, they went to Kansas City, beat them after falling behind by 14 points. Like I think, three times by 14. Yes. But go ahead. I believe Phillip Rivers is playing as good mm. a quarterback position of anybody in the NFL. Mm. And that's saying something. And uh, we're going to talk about this a little later. Right now, he's number two on my MVP mm -hmm. ballot. Um, but I like what I've been able to see from the Chargers. I had them uh, going to the Super mm -hmm. Bowl. I still do. Now, they're going to get Melvin Gordon back. I don't know if he comes back this week or the last week of the season. And when they bring him back, now, we know Phillip can throw the football, those big receivers with Keenan Allen, the two Williams boy, Antonio Gates. I just read yesterday they're thinking about activating Hunter Henry towards ACL uh, and, and, pre, and not pre mm -hmm. training camp, yep. OTAs. Mm -hmm. So they'll get him back. But they can run the football. And now, since Joey Bosa has come back, now they can really, really pressure the quarterback Derwin James has been unbelievable. Mm. He's going to be in the running for defensive uh, a rookie of the year. Uh, mm. Defensive, yeah, defensive yep. rookie of the year. Sure. So right now, I have the Chargers as the best team in the NFL, given what we've seen mm -hmm. over the last three to four weeks. We see the Rams go down. We saw the Saints go down uh, mm -hmm. three, three weeks ago, three weeks ago. And since then, Skip, they haven't played well. You look at the numbers. Drew Brees over his last three games, 177 yards passing. Two touchdowns, three interceptions. Mm -hmm. They scored 10 points against the Cowboys, mm -hmm. 12 points last night. And even though they got to, I think, 25 against Tampa, mm -hmm. that, those points 28, came. I think 28. It was 28 to 14, wasn't it? Go ahead. So yep. those points came late. They don't look like the same high flying, yep. high powered offense they do that, not. that we've seen over the first you know, 11, 12 weeks of the season. And I think what has happened, Skip, is that teams have said, you know what? You really only have Michael Thomas at the wide receiver position. To I think to. they said that last night. <laughs> so let's see. You can't have him. Kirk Wood, if yeah. you want to make some plays, mm -hmm. guys, if you, other yeah. guys, yeah. I'm going to take away Michael Thomas. Yep. We're not going to let you do Michael mm -hmm. Thomas do to the Rams. Mm -hmm. We're not going to let that happen to us on our watch. Yep. So basically when you look at it in the receiving game, Skip, basically it's Michael Thomas and Kamara. All the other guys, yeah, they can catch the ball, but they don't really pose the threat mm -hmm. and the dynamic playmaking ability of those two guys. And, uh, but give those guys defensively, they played well last night. But this is an offensive football team. And at some point in time in the playoffs, you're going to need the way your bread is buttered, you're going to need to have that show up come playoff time. Mm -hmm. And if the Saints think they can win a game in the playoffs scoring 10, 12 points, that's not going to happen. Mm -mm. That's not who they are. That's not what they are. So right now, Skip, I believe the Chargers are the best team mm. in the NFL. And you pick the... Chargers. Chargers. Oh, I see. Yep. Is that how that, that works? That is true. Yep. Very okay. interesting. So my big picture takeaway on the question that Jenny has posed is that this year I see no dominant team in the National Football League. The NFL has no Golden State Warriors that I can see oh, to no, this no, no, point, no, right? No. This year is so weirdly great, so provocatively watchable 
that right now, and you can laugh, feel free to laugh at this, I do not rule out Dak Prescott's team or Lamar Jackson's team from getting on a hot roll and making it to the Super Bowl on either side of the tournament. I do not rule those two teams out because I'm not sold on any of these quote unquote best teams. I'm not sold on your best team. Even though you picked the Chargers, I'm gonna remind you on November 18th, which is not that long ago, they lost at home to Case Keenum, 23 to 22. Mm -hmm. Remember that game? Yep. You like that, says Kirk Cousins. Uh, I don't like that. And then you realize they trailed 23 to seven at Pittsburgh at halftime mm -hmm. and they pulled off a miraculous comeback, which was more to blame in Pittsburgh than crediting mm -hmm the Chargers to me, but it was still great, I give you that. Then they went home and they almost lost to Jeff Driscoll and the Cincinnati Bengals. It was really tight late and they finally pulled it out 26 to 21. And then as you brought up, they're down at Kansas City, 14 to nothing and 21 to seven and 28 to 14. And they pull off another miraculous comeback. And I give you Phillip Rivers and I give you the defense and I give you all those pieces, but I'm not seeing dominating. I'm not seeing invincible. I'm not seeing completely unbeatable because they're living on their eighth, ninth life right now. They're just pulling out these games. Like, I, I'm not seeing overwhelmingly great right have, now. Have you seen the Cowboys? They have six mm -hmm. losses. Okay. Okay, the Ravens, talk about six them. losses. I, I got that, but I can show you moments where I said, wow, look at that. Like, the fourth quarter in overtime against the Eagles, that was just dominating on the part of Dallas. And then what I, can about go back to, I can go back to Jacksonville. They beat Jacksonville 40 to seven when Jacksonville had the number one defense in pro football. That's, I keep warning you about my Cowboys. One of these Sundays, they're gonna put it all together and you're gonna have to eat a whole like Christmas did, feast did, of crow did, over there. Did they not, did <laughs> they not put it together well, Sunday? No, they did, did not. Did you see them against they Tennessee? They got one five in a row. Did you see Sunday? them against we'll Washington? We'll talk about them later. Okay. Let's get back to the New Orleans Saints. I picked the Saints, and you shocked me by you picking the Saints before the year started to win the NFC. So your your picks are actually, it, it's it's a rarity. Better it's than like yours. A, it's like an aberration. Better it's than a yours. shock. Better than I yours. I don't know. Are you really counting out Tom Brady? Because I'm not writing him completely off. I don't love their chances, but I, that guy is one guy I keep telling you I don't bet against. Well, I'm betting the ranch. Okay, well, you we may have to bet some yeah, okay. ranch full of diet dew on okay. that before this thing is <laughs> okay. over. But again, we both picked New Orleans, but do I feel nearly as convicted about it as I did before the year started? I, I just do not because you made all the case since Dallas did that 13 to right. 10 number on Drew Brees. By the way, Dallas did win that game on a big Thursday night stage. I don't know how they did it, but they did. But since then, this team lost its mojo and its way. Now it had to play three straight road games. But the, the defense, I gotta say, played way better than the offense did on the road because they, they, again, they let Dallas score the grand total of 13, then they gave up 14, and then they, last night they gave up nine. So their, their defense is actually playing at a pretty high level. Yeah. They rank seventh overall in points allowed. So, so that'll work. That. But Drew Brees, I, I, I don't recognize him the last three weeks. Do you? Ah. Okay. All right, well, I'm just saying, I know you're gonna buy into that, but I'm I'm just saying, do they look invincible to you? They did for a while to me, home and road, they looked yeah. invincible. Before they got to Dallas, okay. they did look All invincible. Right. So guess who visits this Sunday in the late afternoon game? Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm -hmm. Is it possible that their breakthrough against New England will give them a springboard to New Orleans? Is it possible that they would outgun Drew Brees on his home turf when he's lost a little confidence and you now have the blueprint for how to stop their offense? Yeah. Is it, it possible? It's possible. Okay, they're going to open up like six and a half, seven point underdogs at New Orleans. But do I really trust Drew Brees and company? I don't know. I'm not, I haven't seen firepower. I haven't seen explosive. And to your point, once you take that one receiver away, really? Mm. Is Benjamin Watson enough to get you home? Are they invincible? Could, could I see Dallas going to New Orleans and winning a playoff game? You better believe I could because they definitely, they they invented the blueprint. They, they drew it up to start with. But it's they a, match up. You, you keep talking about Dallas and their five-game winning streak. Every game that they won by was by one possession. So you can't feel good about okay. that. All right. Like like in one game, we're gonna we're gonna go into this deeply here pretty soon. But but in the one game, the second game against Philly at Jerry World, they were awful and they were lean toward more toward the dominating rate. Right. But here's the thing that happens to you in the playoffs: if you're ever awful early, mm -hmm. you get blown out. Okay. The game's over. The momentum swells so quickly. 
that you get don't get a chance to be great late. Hmm. Although so, my quarterback Dak Prescott in his very first rookie year playoff game fell behind 21 to three at home, and then what happened? They lost. They didn't lose. They tied. They lost. But they got all the way back to a tie game. Am they, I right? They, it was 31 all. Oh, How do you do that? Well, you just made a case. If you get behind early, you're dead in the playoffs. My team was not dead because my quarterback threw a party. But, on Green Bay's defense. Really? He threw for 303 touchdowns. But here's the thing. That's my quarterback Skip. who can't throw. Skip, you are at home. Hmm. You're going to be on the road if you face New Orleans. Hmm. So let me get this straight. You